Mark Gordon here, Thursday, uh, June the 6th, 2013. Looking here at stocks, this is the NASDAQ, up about six tenths of a percent today, and you can see this leg down that I've been talking about. Uh, closing under this red line here, the 21 day moving average now for several sessions, and looks like we're coming down here to challenge this blue line, which is the 50 day moving average, currently coming in at about 33.50. Uh, we're currently at uh, the 34.25 level right now. Um, so pulling back uh, after uh, this uh, nice long run up here, uh, giving back some of the gains, we've been in, a, in an uptrend all year, uh, so having a corrective leg down is certainly expected. Uh, so far far, uh, volume has been very orderly and the price action has been very orderly. I think what we're looking for here is support here at this key moving average at around the 3350 level. I think uh, um, you know we'll really know a lot about this pullback uh, as it gets closer to this uh, line here. And now to the Dow, up about a half a percent too. You'll notice the leg down and coming down here to the 50-day moving average and getting a bounce off of it uh, after uh, going below it and now closing above it. So good action here. Let's see what tomorrow in the next couple of sessions brings. Can we hold this 50-day moving average currently coming in at uh, 14,924? Uh, so uh, uh, we did close here uh, at 15,040. 15, so let's see if the 50 holds here on the Dow. Now to the S&P 500, up about three quarters of a percent. Again, holding at the 50, uh, coming down, undercutting it, but quickly recovering, closing on the highs of the day. But this down leg pattern in place here on the S&P 500 as well. Chart of the S&P, down about a half a percent on the week, and you can see three weeks of uh, selling here. Um, you can see the support here at the 10-week moving average, closing above it, uh, well above it. We've had support of this key moving average line all year long. So an important test going on right now on the key uh, indexes. Out of the gold miners, this is the GDX, the gold miners ETF, up about one and a quarter percent today. And coming up to test this important moving average here. This is the 50-day moving average currently at 30.52, 30.52. Um, uh, we are uh, uh, just right under it here, um, grinding ever so sl uh, slowly higher here. Uh, as I've said before, this is a double bottom, pa uh, double bottom pattern. If we can clear 31.27, 31.27, uh, the uh, trend of the GDX will now be to the upside. So this is very important the next couple of days. Can we clear 31.27 by at least 10 cents? We got to a high of 30.49 today, 30.49. Uh, that's a, the best we could do here. Um, uh, so we had a 30.58 here come in about four sessions ago. So let's see what happens. Let's uh, let, let's see if we can turn this in a new direction. So a very key uh, uh, inflection point uh, coming up here for the GDX possibly. Now at the GLD, the gold ETF, uh, up about uh, three quarters of a percent today, clearing and closing above this red line, the 21-day moving average, a good sign here, grinding higher, coming up here to test its 50-day moving average, which is clearly moving down. Uh, so uh, lots of work to do here in the gold, but uh, trying to put something together here. If we come down to our secondary indicators, you see that the stochastics are really strong, moving up very quickly. You can see uh, that we have crossed uh, the MACD, the black line has crossed the red line, which is bullish and pointed higher, uh, eclipsing this previous hump here. So uh, lots of good signs on these secondary indicators here. Um, you can see that our on-balance volume has flattened out and now it's uh, starting to move higher, which uh, is uh, showing us some accumulation here. And you can see the RSI moving higher, uh, trying to get above 50 here. So lots of good action in the gold. Uh, we have not turned uh, this downtrend around, but we certainly have some good signs. And looking at the silver now, pretty much flatlining here, but uh, fighting a battle here at the 21-day moving average, uh, closing just below it here, but, but certainly this is our battle zone here. In order to turn the SLV around the silver ETF, we're going to have to take out 2370 and uh, certainly uh, come up here and challenge this blue line, the 50-day moving average here. So lots of work to do here. Uh, MACD pointing higher, uh, black line above the red, good sign there. Stochastics moving higher. 
uh, uh, and our on balance volume is starting to turn around here. So lots of good indicators here on the metals. And a chart I wanted to show you, this is the U.S. dollar index, uh, measures the uh, strength of the dollar versus a basket of other currencies. You can notice the volatility to the downside here. Um, very, very big uh, a downside day here, closing at the lower end of the range and certainly taking out its 100-day moving average, something that it has not done uh, since February. So some real volatility here, undercutting this low here at 81.37, had a low of uh, 81.07 here. A little bit of bounce off of this uh, black dotted line, which is the 200-day moving average. So some support down here. Let's see if that can hold. But certainly, uh, this is a very, very steep downtrend if you draw a line along these highs here for the last six or seven sessions. So I want you to be aware of a possible dollar problem here. Okay, uh, thanks for listening, and good luck trading, everybody.